2017 Special Olympic World Winter Games in Austria last March, led by the Chef de Mission and the 2017 Honorary Coach. In the first, now it is my great pleasure to welcome out of the floor of the chamber. Many of the athletes who competed in the 2017 Special Olympic World Winter Games in Austria last March. These athletes on the floor of the chamber and in the gallery have competed in alpine skiing, cross country skiing, figure skating, floor hockey, snowshoeing, and speed skating. Canadians from across the country are justly proud of you, and so are we. Coast to coast. 
The dreams of the athletes are supported and bolstered by over 21,000 volunteers who in true Canadian fashion give so generously of their talents and time to make Special Olympics a reality. And wearing the Maple Leaf on my uniform while competing for my country is an honor not many people get to experience. families across this country. Whether you're from a family that's rich or whether you're struggling, whether you have a disability or whether you don't, you deserve a chance to play, a chance to build your life. And I know our government, I know our Prime Minister is committed to each and every one of you to ensure you have an opportunity to live a great life. Now you coach the volunteers out there. Where you know where you're with the athletes each and every day, through the ups and downs, the ins and outs, through the wins and the losses. And we know that you're there to provide athletics to success, but I know you've done even more than that. You have created great citizens because people who participate in sport are more engaged and connected with their communities. And I know from meeting them this morning at Notre Dame High School and for spending more time within the day that each and one of our Special Olympians here today are great Canadians and great citizens. Thank you for making them the best they can be. And on that note, Prime Minister, I did let a little secret out this morning. I told them that you were a little nervous and excited to have all these people here at Parliament Hill and that you didn't get a very good sleep, but now you get a chance to meet them all and say a few words. Without further ado, Prime Minister Justin Trudeau. all MPs and Senators in this room and scattered through the uh, House of Parliament. Uh, we got to see you on the floor of the House. We are so happy to see you all here today. Now, members of Parliament and Senators have uh, an extraordinary responsibility and an opportunity to represent all Canadians. So when we applaud you, we're applauding on behalf of all Canadians, but I have to say, uh, it's one of those really lucky perks of our job that we get to actually applaud you on in person when millions of Canadians only applaud you uh, through your communities and uh, on TV and in the news when they hear about the extraordinary success that our Special Olympics team has had in Austria and every time uh, you take the field. Le pays des destinés, les années d'exposition sont un symbole d'inclusion dans le monde du sport. Partout au Canada, des programmes et des activités encouragent les jeunes athlètes à s'activer et à essayer quelque chose de nouveau. Entouré par des entraîneurs dévoués et d'autres athlètes motivés, un bon nombre de Canadiens ont eu l'occasion de faire ce qu'ils aiment et de développer de bonnes habitudes qu'ils conserveront toute leur vie. Qu'il s'agisse du programme Enfants Actifs ou des Jeux Olympiques spéciaux à l'échelle mondiale, chaque athlète a la chance d'atteindre ses objectifs et de réaliser ses rêves. But beyond athletic performance, the Special Olympics are synonymous with bravery, sportsmanship, unity, mostly French. It's about much more than medals, podiums, awful lot of metal uh, in this room today. We like it when you bring home the hardware like that. But it's also about believing in yourself, trusting your instincts, and surpassing your own expectations. It's about the friends you make, the mentors you meet, and the community you build. The Special Olympics attest to the life-changing power of sport, something that all Canadians should and must have the opportunity to experience. I want to thank you all for joining us today, congratulate our athletes for their remarkable achievements, but mostly thank you for inspiring us 
every day, despite the challenges that each and every human being faces on every given day, to always push harder, strive for more, and never stop giving your best. I look forward to meeting with you all and hearing your stories. Thank you so much for gathering today. Oh!